Bootleg Cam Exclusive. Yeah. Yo, it's Power 98.3 with Hip Hop Liz, man. Bootleg Kevin Studio right now. We got Kidding. Ooh. Yo. What's up, man? Hey, you had a lot of energy on stage tonight oh, at that man. Time to Sync <laughs> tour, bro. Yeah, man. I had fun out there. Time to Sync tour. Man, the crowd, you know what I'm saying, got me hyped. They had a, I was having a good time. The crowd was having a good time. So, you know what I'm saying, it worked out. Um, yeah. You're a relatively new artist, man. Like, uh, when did you really start to hit your stride as a performer? Um... It definitely took some time to grow and, you right. know, figure out what I want to do and which where the record's placed and how the energy. Because it's really deeper than just performing it which is. records because you got the energy and too many hype records. You might get tired. You got to balance it. Right, right, right. So for it's, sure. you know, a lot of just going over with the DJ and we put it together right. And it's definitely took a while. But I feel like the past eight months like i've come to a real real and i'm confident about the show i know everything right you know what I'm that's saying? important yeah. confidence is the main thing you know what yeah. i'm saying hey so the last six or six months to a year i mean you've had a crazy crazy yeah. run since the, you know the freshman cover even before that you you've been buzzing for a very long time yeah. um what do you think um has changed for you the most i mean in your in your day-to-day -day life over the last yeah. six months or so uh the biggest thing lately is just not really being able to go out and uh not be seen and uh and get spotted and take pictures you right know what i mean <laughs> which especially is, around la right yeah which is something you know i like to do for the fans and everything but it happens more often than usual now lately like the past couple of weeks i mean some say something <laughs> you're doing something right man man you did you're doing something right man um talk about the new album man up and away uh, up and away did it staying on I, man you did it staying independently thank you man yeah we did shout out the fans what'd we you guys do the first week 20k independently independent you know just independent promo our own everything we've been doing for the mixtape same campaign right. you know shooting videos and keeping it consistent and 20k first week still selling too consistently it's not ain't got some, you know? some fat some fat pockets right now you know what i'm saying <laughs> hey um with the whole independent thing i always felt like yeah. drake he had a, he had an opportunity when he first <clears> dropped <throat> definitely to 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 really change the game and and keep it independent he yeah. he he didn't I think Mac Miller kind of did that a little bit. Definitely Mac Miller. When he dropped his album, it was number yeah. one in the country. Um, he got stamped. How, I mean, are you, uh, the major situation, I know I know you're getting calls, man. What What is, <laughs> I mean, will it? Will that happen? I mean, is there, is, are you just waiting for the right opportunity or are you just good? Definitely just waiting, uh, just waiting for the right opportunity. Not necessarily good. I just never stop working and want to continue to keep working until, the deal is right. Right. Until it's, you know what I'm saying? Something really the most important thing for me is, like I said, to continue to keep working. So I wanted to show and prove to the labels that I have, you know what I'm saying, a lot of stuff under control and we have these fans and this movement and that you could trust us with what we can do and just try to get that creative control. Indeed, man. And I think it's, it's worked out well for you, bro. Man, thank you. Hey, do you remember where you were first at when you uh, got the news that you're going to be on that cover, that double XL freshman? Uh, I was at the house. It was uh, close to Christmas. It was a Christmas, like, gift from Ill right. Will. He, like, called me and was like, yo, are you sitting down? Sit down right now. I got some news for your early Christmas gift. And, it was, I mean, it was definitely a shocker because right before that, I was looking at the just the voting list and just looking. Right, you know they had the list my, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah. my name there. And I was like, yo, this is dope just to be in the voting Just to list. be nominated. An hour later, get a call like, yo, you first three to get picked. First three? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Hey, when when like, like when I first heard your name, Kid Ink, I thought to myself like, uh, you know, kind of like I I I just I have my own kind of thoughts about it. Like yeah, like man, I, I, this almost sounds like a gimmick type deal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Did you get that yeah. a lot when when you Definitely. first? You know what I'm I saying? I mean, people still because it's being gimmicked. You know what I'm saying? So people still try to come at it like that sometimes and hate. But I've been getting tattoos before I was an right. artist when I was just a producer behind the scenes i just love getting tattoos and drawing and art and everything like that and, it, so. and at the end of the day the music speaks for itself right exactly the music will shut the haters up real quick Shh, you did. <laughs> especially when you in you know we're playing you like 100 times a week out oh here. man i appreciate it. i know yeah no, we're killing that record love, i love the record i'm i'm getting sick of it though <laughs> which is good gotta move on to the remix and then the uh yeah the we got the remix version. chris brown's on the remix right tiger chris brown tiger yeah yeah that, that's what oh, it man. is man um up up and away uh or Ooh. up and away get it up on itunes Right um, how did you link up with Ill Will? Because he's been doing the mixtape game forever. Yeah, I linked up with Ill Will 
um, I was doing just mixtape features and just hopping on records with, with people he did projects with. So he got to hear my voice and sound and I actually caught him like retweeting a lyric before. And so from that point, I was like, yo, I'm gonna hit him and see if he'll do my mixtape and it's not charge or whatever, right. you know what I'm saying? And at that point, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm messing with you so much. I give it to you for the love. Don't worry about it. You know, just make sure it's hot. And he, you know what I'm saying? Help me out. And we did everything together. And that was before we even got to meet face to face. That was all through emails. That's then crazy. We ended up meeting on a video set and just collabed a lot. And he, you know what I'm saying, liked the look and was like, yo, you Ted, that's, I like, you know what I'm saying? I like everything that's going on. What's your deal? Like, are you just chilling, sitting around? Right. I'm like, yeah, I'm just working on my own. He was like, I'm working on my own too. Let's see if we can do anything together. And built a, we didn't force anything. It was, you know, a slow relationship. Alumni, that that's you and him, right? Is yeah. that that's your guys' is yeah. is that a label? Is that the crew? Because uh, I know you got the bat gang. I mean It's an entire movement. I mean, we do music, we have you know, artists, we have producers, writers, we have photographers, videographers that shoot videos for everybody. Alex Nazari shoots all my videos. No, he's a beast. That dude's a monster. Everyone's stuff now. Yeah, so, he does everybody's yeah. stuff. He got some stuff coming up that y'all should So be what's the for. difference between what is bad gang for the fans? Bad Gang is for the fans, and it's just more of a, a a street movement and a lifestyle. Alumni is business. It's the business side yeah, of things. Bad Gang right now is is the lifestyle, and it's just fun. Hey, the new um, the new West Coast Surgeons, especially because you know I'm a radio dude, and mm. it's been a long time since you know West Coast cats have had radio records like in heavy rotation. You got yourself, yeah. Tiger, YG, guys like Problem. Shout out, yeah. You know. Uh, Dom, well, there's That's a lot of dudes. Right now, it's yeah, crazy, man. man. The West is Kendrick. Is, is, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, how, what do you think, man? Is 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 the number one uh, contributing factor to to the, the 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 recent success of the West Coast? I think every like just the the new generation got tired of the stereotypes and waiting for the I guess. For detox, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Waiting I said, for man, I'm fucking yeah, sick of waiting you know, for detox. Waiting we go, for the next. We dropping you know our saying? own shit. Yeah, waiting for you know just one of the the old heads or just the legends to come right. in and drop something that was gonna bring us back, and then we feel more confident. It's just we got tired of waiting. And I feel like that was a problem. Like everybody was waiting for Snoop to come back yeah. with that classic or Dre or even Game. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And finally, everybody kind of just say you know just put it on their back, and it's almost like a new sound too. Yeah, you know what I'm and saying? It, it's crazy because it it instead invited them into our sound into the things we're doing so they're reaching out to us exactly for, and you yeah, know what i like too i do like about it is because in hip-hop west coast music has always kind of had a gang uh you know everyone kind of when they think of west coast they think of crips and bloods i like this new movement there really ain't none of that gang shit involved yeah, man. It's, it's just, just it's just feel music, good music right now yeah. yeah just music and having fun and that's i mean it's that's the other LA. side of la yeah that's the other side that's of the other LA. side yeah it's, and, it's two sides of la and that's that of north side <laughs> for sure man hey well hey we're gonna um we're gonna there. take a little break let's play a uh, time of your life right now we're gonna come back we're gonna have you rap yeah. for us you down let's, let's get it man let's make it happen it's power 98.3 man the bootleg kev show kidding Ooh.